Hey, this is Adia, the Trendy Socialite. I remembered one of the things that I wanted to talk about, but then I made a list in my office and I left it in my office, so now I can't remember the other things. But, um, one of the things that I want to talk about is kind of old news now. It's um, about um, Kim Kardashian and Kanye's new song about the perfect beat. And there is, you know, all this speculation and apparently Kim has said that she's like okay with that. I haven't read that, but I think I heard that on Twitter or on the radio or something like that. And that she was okay with being called the perfect B and um, all this kind of stuff. And people are, you know, like having a reaction to it. And I'm not. And you want to know why? Because I remember how Kim Kardashian became, quote, famous. Actually, to me, she's not famous. She's notorious, which is an entirely different thing. Um, so, I just, like, I just don't see why people are surprised that she is okay with, um, being touted about her figure, about her sexual prowess, and all of those things, because that's how she came on the scene, like, full force, anyway. So, yeah, people are all like, I can't believe, and she would, mm, first of all, she should not be anyone you want to emulate, anyway, in my opinion. And granted, I, I will give her some limited props for, um, I guess, in a way, turning uh, a notorious situation into a positive in terms of uh, starting her businesses and, and things of that nature. Uh, still don't really care for the means that she did it and don't want younger girls who are impressionable um, to think that that's an acceptable way of getting money or becoming successful. Um, so you know, I have issues with her anyway. And so, yeah, that's that. Um, and the other thing, I'm actually going to do a video at some point in the very near future after I kind of mull it over in my brain and research it a little bit. Um, just about kind of transition of styles as you age. <laughs> and... Um, what that means, what that looks like, should you do it, how should you do it, when should you do it, just, you know, again, my opinions on the thing, um, because I'm finding that um, a lot of social media, obviously, is dedica dedicated and directed towards a younger generation, um, so, you know, if you don't know, I am 36. So, I feel like I don't look it. Good black don't crack. Thank you, mama, grandmama, and good living for that. Uh, but at the same time, I know that I'm 36. And I work on a college campus. And I don't need to look like them. I don't want to look like them. I am proud of my age. I am proud that I'm mature. Yeah, I still want to be stylish and fashionable and all of those things. But I also want to be somewhat age, not really age appropriate, but I guess lifestyle appropriate is more um, along the lines of what, I, what I'm trying, you know, to get to. Just in terms of what's appropriate for my lifestyle, my profession, um, you know, even in my spare time and church and all of those things, really, honestly, I guess I'm almost coming to that conclusion now. Those things really dictate for me my style more so than, than my age. Um, but I still find myself, I'm like, gosh, I can't really rock that look because I'm 36. And yes, I do have those thoughts and I do have those, um, those moments you know I try I may try to find a way to spin a trend and do it in a way that's um, appropriate for me and that I feel comfortable with 
but I'll be honest there there are some women that I see that in my opinion just are at either end of the spectrum I have women my age that look like they should have three or four grandkids running behind them because that's how um, maybe dowdy if you will they dress and that may be their personal style uh, but you know I do know of women that that dress like that and then there are women my age and I'm like really sweetie you need to hang it up because those days are gone <laughs> yeah your body is telling on you and those days are long gone um, so I guess I just I don't know I just always wonder about that like I wonder how I'm going to um, you know begin to transition my style a little bit more even you know I realize that there because honestly I'm gonna tell you the stiletto life is slowly being phased out um, it's just the way it is um, you know I still have some and I still rock them but you know the days of the four and five and six inch heels are becoming fewer and further between so I think that I am getting to the point now where wedges and flats and things that are cute yet comfy are becoming more of my norm than um, anything so and I'm okay with that because I still think I look cute and that's really all that matters so yeah be look on the lookout for an addendum to what I've just said in a future video all right so I I am starving and my lunch is smelling so good so I'm gonna go inside and eat it you all take care and be blessed bye